Turning now to the trial of Sonny Balwani and what a difference a day makes. Some very big changes today in that fraud case against the former Theranos COO. Our business tech reporter Scott Budman continues our coverage. Yeah, just 24 hours after presenting the jury with evidence from Balwani himself that he had a big hand in running Theranos, a witness for the prosecution took the stand today and said she only dealt with Elizabeth Holmes and didn't even know who Sonny Balwani is. According to some trial watchers, one day can make a big difference in how a jury sees Sonny Balwani. Tuesday, text messages from Balwani to Elizabeth Holmes were read out loud with Balwani texting, I worked six years, day and night to help you, and I am responsible for everything at Theranos. Yesterday's text messages were very, very damning because they did exactly what the prosecution needs to do. That is, show that Balwani was also calling the shots at Theranos. But then Dr. Constance Cullen, the witness who pointed to Elizabeth Holmes as the executive who used the logo for pharma giant sharing plow on memos to pitch Walgreens without authorization, admitted today she never met Sonny Balwani while dealing with Theranos executives. When on cross-examination, uh, Balwani's counsel got Cullen from Sharing Plow to acknowledge, as you said, that she never spoke with Balwani and doesn't remember meeting him. That's not great. That's really not great. Next up, former Theranos employee Daniel Edland on the stand. He testified during the Holmes trial that Holmes and Balwani often modified the office and the labs when potential investors would visit. In San Jose, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News.